What are the recent changes to Microsoft's MB910 exam? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. The MB910 is a fundamental exam like all the others in the 900 series. So this tests your knowledge of what is possible as opposed to how you can do it. The MB910 is one of two exams which tests Microsoft Dynamics 365 apps. And these concentrate on the CRM apps, the Customer Relationship Management. So these are Dynamics 365 Sales, Customer Service, Field Service, and the last app used to be called Dynamics 365 Marketing. It is now, as of September 2023, called Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Journeys. So you may still see on web pages references to Dynamics 365 Marketing that is now called Customer Insights Journeys. And the changes that were made in 9th of October 2023 are all about the Dynamics 365 marketing changing its name to the Customer Insights Dash Journeys. So you might think that is not a huge change. And if you look at the study guide, you might be led to believe so. Instead of Explore Dynamics 365 marketing, it now says Explore Customer Insights Journeys. And it's there in a few places. And what used to be called Customer Insights is now called Customer Insights Data. However, there is an additional change outside of the exam that you do need to know about. And that is, in Customer Insights Journeys, one major part has been removed. If I go to a free trial of Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Journeys and go to the bottom left, we can change what area we are in. There is real-time journeys, event planning, settings and training. But there used to be a fifth area and this was outbound marketing. However, as of the 1st of September 2023, this has been removed for any new users of Dynamics 365 Custom Insights Journeys. And the entirety of this part of the exam guide used to be written with outbound marketing in mind. Indeed, subscription lists is still part of the outbound marketing. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future that was removed. Now we're going to have a quick look around this free trial. And if you want your own free trial, you can do that by going to this website, dynamics.microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us hyphen dynamics 365 free trial or Google dynamics 365 free 30 day trial. You'll find marketing down here. Under marketing, we have Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. You can click on try for free and sign up with what Microsoft considers to be a work or school email address. Now, contacts, not much has changed. And with lead generation, the scoring models, such as behavioral and demographic, they were part of the outbound marketing and not part of the real time journeys. So what you would need to do is instead qualify them using the business process flow and by clicking on qualify up here in the command bar. This lead has already been qualified. Emails are largely unchanged. However, when you open a free trial, there will be no emails there for you to be able to have a look at. Instead, you will need to import emails from outbound marketing. So here you can see some emails that you can import and then you can open them up and have a look at the various features of email marketing. Event management features and capabilities are still there. However, they are not as part of real time journeys. Instead, you have to go to the event planning area and go to events. One major difference between real-time journeys and outbound marketing is in respect of customer journeys. There are two types of customer journeys. They can either be segment-based or trigger-based. And you can see on screen the sort of triggers that we've got here. Changes to the contact, things happening to custom channel messages or emails, customer voice survey responses or question responses submitted, event check-ins, form check-ins, website interaction, lead created, incident created, 
and things happening to text messages. Once you have identified an appropriate trigger, then you can create a journey. So if I start a new journey, you can name the journey, say what type of journey it is, and then look for a trigger. So let's say when I create a contact, I want to be able to start a new journey. And then you can add actions to this journey, like send an email, send a text message, create and assign a phone call or task activity, or add some conditions, for example. These can all be part of your customer journey. So in this video, we've had a look at the changes of the MB910 exam. It is the changing of outbound marketing to real-time journeys in what used to be Dynamics 365 Marketing and is now Customer Insights Journeys. If you would like more assistance, then I hope you'll consider our course on the subject. So in a little over five hours, we have a look at these four different apps, Customer Insights Journeys, Sales, customer service and field service, and have a look at common features and integration options. And along with a practice test, there are plenty of quizzes along the way, so you can be sure that you are learning. And our course is now up to date with all of the changes in the MB910 exam and with Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Journeys. A link to our course is in the description to this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not click like and why not subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. In our next video, we're going to go into a bit more depth into what the Dynamics 365 CRM apps are. If you want to see that video, then there is a link to it on the end screen to this video. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching this and keep learning.